Good day, YouTube. I hope you're doing well. I've taken a few weeks off. I've been busy now that late spring is here at home. We're working on our property and uh, just doing some good stuff, staying busy. I have been taking notes for a topic of experience or experiences. This video is titled The Life's a Roller Coaster Ride. Life's a Roller Coaster Ride. And I have some notes, but I can speak about this. Uh, I'm going to stick to my notes just because I want to make it short, but with impact. And I am sure that most of you can relate to this, to the ups and downs of life, kind of like a roller coaster of the experiences the, that involves emotions, whether it's celebrations, whether it's happiness, excitement, laughter, or the opposite of challenges, struggle. Emotions are a part of our experiences, a part of our lives, and that is normal. But the question that I have for you that I want you to think about is, how do you deal with them? How do you deal with the emotions in your life, the experiences in your life? I have thought about when people can hang when things are good. They're there, they're happy, they can hang. But what about when life throws a curveball? Maybe because it happens or because of something that we do, or maybe our decisions, can they hang? And I would hope that the answer is yes, because you don't want someone that's just gonna be there during the high times, the good times, but when things are down and out, they don't communicate, they don't talk, they're not even there. So emotions fluctuate, and how are you going to deal with that? The next thing about the roller coaster of life is people. People that come in our lives that are there, whether it's every day, every month, or a few seasons in our lives, the people. I love to interact with people. And I ask a question when I do training. In fact, I did a class today and I ask, I give the example of my weakness is technology. I don't even like technology, which is why these videos are one and done. I press play and I press stop or record and then stop. I'm not the individual that's very creative when it comes to editing. In fact, I used to have an editing program and I don't anymore, I need to buy one, but I wanna focus more on the substance on the topics of my videos. The people are my strength, technology is not. And I asked the, the, the people in my class, how many of you have ever been disappointed by people? Show of hands, hands go up, many hands go up. How many of you have disappointed other people? to include myself, have I disappointed other people? And the answer is yes, we all do. Nobody's perfect. But my strength is people and how to deal with people and communication and talking about celebrations, more importantly, talking about challenges. The next thing is peace. I love peace. I want peace of mind. I want to be healthy. The opposite of peace is chaos. And I have lived in chaos when I was in my teens, whether the things that happened to me or some choices that I made. And that went up until my early 20s. Now in my early 20s, I want you to know that I lived a good life. And a lot of it was fun and exciting. But some of the decisions that I would make resulted in chaos. So I've been there as well. And that's when I was like, nope, I don't want to do that anymore. I like balance. I love to work hard. I love to play hard. I love to laugh. I love to have a drink, I love to travel, I love interacting with people. So I've had chaos and peace. One of the things that I would recommend in your life, no matter where you are, is stay humble. Be humble. That's very important to me. It's one of the things that I'm attracted to, humbleness. I love it when people, even people who have power, whether it's fame or people who have money, stay humble. People that are good people, and there, there's a lot of these people out there, and that's who I, I'm attracted to. Sense of humor is another part. I have a silly sense of humor. If you really knew the real me, uh, I'm silly. I'm like a 14-year-old boy mentality. However, it is appropriate because I've been trained. So I'm not going to just throw out some silly jokes that are inappropriate. Not anymore. I used to when I was younger. 
That was a long time ago. The crown of life. My favorite verse in the Bible is in Revelation, Revelation 2.10. And, and it says something, because I have it memorized. If not, I have it right here. It says, be faithful until death and I will give you the crown of life. When I read that, the crown of life, I was like, wow, isn't that winning already? The crown of life. First of all, I'm an individual that my outlook is half glass full. The other thing is I love life. I love people. I love travel. I love afternoons. Today, I just got home from work. It's Tuesday. I wanted to make this video. I'm focusing on my other channel. I have three channels on YouTube, but I'm focusing on my French, learning French, speaking French. And if you go to my channels, you'll see it where it says, Je, je parle un peu, which is I speak a little. Afterwards, somebody said it, it's correctly said, Je parle un petit peu. I speak a little. Well, I'm focusing on my French book and I'm making videos in French. Very basic, short lessons, but I'm doing that, that for myself so I can practice, so I can watch the video afterwards and say, hey, this is what I didn't pronounce right. This is what I pronounce right, just to learn. It, like I said, I'm doing that for myself. But the crown of life, I don't think it gets any better than that. Any a saying, the crown of life, that to me is winning. I love to win, and I win a lot. But you want me to tell you something? I've lost a lot too. That's the roller coaster of life. I speak from experience and I've realized as I wrap up that a lot of things in life are because of us, our thoughts, our decisions, our actions, our behavior. So we are in control of that. I want you to remember that because nobody forces me to show up to work on time or to show up late. Nobody does that, that's on me. So those are my decisions. And I'll wrap up with this. Life is challenging, but life is beautiful. And my dad gave me the, the words one time and I said, dad, do you believe in an afterlife? He said, I don't know. I hope there's an afterlife, but here's how I see it. And this is my dad speaking. He said, I think life is a gift. And you know what? That's stuck with me. Life is a gift. I hope that you make the most of it, adapt, and celebrate life. Take care.